Nissan's been making headway into the electric vehicle market for a few years now, and after revealing renders of its new all-electric lineup back in November 2021, the company has finally decided to turn those concepts into reality. Now, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the words chill out, surf out, hang out, and max out? Sounds like a bunch of dude bro group chats, right? Well, guess what? These are the names Nissan chose for its EV lineup. Yeah, I know. But apart from the cringe names, the actual product is kind of fascinating. After all, when you pledge to invest $17.6 billion into new EV and battery tech, you're bound to get some positive results. And now, after over two years since those initial announcements, we finally got an update on one of those concepts, the Max Out. Now, if you haven't been following the whole thing, this is their high-performance variant. It's going to be the Nissan electric sports car of the future. Oh, and just in case you're curious. The chill out is a crossover, hang out is an SUV, and surf out is a pickup truck. Pretty standard, right? Well, buckle up your seatbelts and prepare to be blown away, because the max out is anything but standard. Yep, at a time when companies are making all sorts of wacky looking EVs, it seems like Nissan has really stepped up its game. In fact, in many ways, this is very similar to that Hyundai Envision concept we saw last year. You know, with that super cool 70s sci-fi aesthetic. And just like that car, this would fit right into a Blade Runner film as well. But of course, we already sort of knew that. So what's the deal with a Max Out? Well, for starters, it's a convertible. Because cool cars don't have roofs, right? In all seriousness, though, you totally get the vibe they're going for here. In fact, that single rear brake light stretching across the entire body literally lights up like a synthwave wallpaper. It's honestly kind of breathtaking. Not to mention, you've got the Nissan logo sitting in there, except at a distance. And I don't know about you, but I feel like I'd get hypnotized if I stare into it for too long. It's mesmerizing. The least impressive part about the concept, however, is the front. It curves down way too dramatically, almost making the car look unnecessarily small. Though merging the grille and the lights is still a pretty dope idea. Oh, and then there's this massive intake cutout in the trunk too. It's definitely one of the more fascinating designs out there. But Nissan's got one more trick up its sleeve to really make this car stand out. The Tron lighting. Yeah, I mean, it's such an easy win that everyone should be doing it, and yet no one tries to go for this aesthetic anymore. But I do feel like Nissan's hit the jackpot here with this one. You've got lights on the wheels and even the tires themselves. Plus, as I've already mentioned, the front and rear lights are these single blocks that would probably look stunning at night. That's not all, though. Nissan has also done the same checkered lighting treatment for the interior, and I get that it might look off-putting at first, but you can't deny that it doesn't look like something straight out of a video game. I mean, even the steering looks like a game controller. Not to mention, you've got this massive panel stretching across the entire dashboard. Also, perhaps the best thing about this lighting is the fact that it sort of sinks into this visual illusion. Whether it's in the grill, the wheels, or the rear lights, it all has this same synthwave perspective thing going on that makes you feel you're staring into the void. Again, mesmerizing stuff. Oh, and if that's not futuristic enough for you, then yeah, yeah, they put in a couple of weird looking seats in there too. Like I know that the aesthetic they're going for is very well established in the media, but it still looks so quirky. That said, while the Nissan Max Out concept is visually stunning, that's not the reason why it's getting so much attention. After all, this is the future of EVs for the Japanese company. Seriously, even when the company was teasing its reveal, it was banging the drum for all of its internal features rather than the design. For instance, the company described the Max out as so responsive it feels a part of you. And even if you read through all the other PR stuff, like how it delivers best-in-class comfort and incredible driving experience, you know the drill. They still keep repeating this one phrase about responsiveness, about how the car will create a feeling of oneness with you. Okay, is this car about to hack into my brain or something? What's going on here? Well, you see, unlike most other EVs, this one's apparently going to be super light, thanks to its solid-state batteries. And in some ways, that could even allow the Max Out to corner better than a petrol car. Now that's impressive. In fact, if Nissan manages to nail its new battery tech, it might have something special on its hands here. Although you can't help but wonder why the company didn't just start the process when it came up with the Leaf. Was the industry just too unappealing back then? Or did they have some logistical constraints? Well, the answer is actually kind of convoluted. The important thing is that they're finally taking the plunge. And thankfully, they've got some very ambitious plans for the future. 
future as well. I mean, having upsized solid-state batteries is an exciting prospect in and of itself, but the company's plans go way beyond that. Called Ambition 2030, the initiative will inject that $17 billion investment over the next five years. And while the majority is going toward R&D for their proprietary tech, a lot of it will also go toward fully developed cars. As a matter of fact, Nissan wants to launch around 23 new electrified models over the next few years, with 15 of them being purely electric. Oh, and the cars we've already got? Well, they'll probably continue to run on their e-power powertrain. This is where things get interesting, though. It seems like the company isn't just going to bring a whole new package to its lineups. Instead, Nissan plans on evolving its current powertrain. The advanced E4 Force, for instance, was introduced four years ago in a modified Leaf, but it looks like the max-out concept, along with the other three cars, are all going to use a modified version of this dual-motor powertrain. Not to mention, we've already gotten a glimpse of this new system on the 2023 X-Trail as well. And if you want to talk numbers, then that car manages to push out a combined output of 210 horsepower and 243 pound-foot of torque. Though, of course, you might be wondering what all this means for the long-term project of the car. For instance, we know that they've got a self-driving tech in the works called Pro Pilot. So how far along is that in terms of its development? And are we going to see it in road cars soon? In fact, scratch that, when is the max out concept even going to turn into reality? I mean, while it looks cool, Nissan is making some lofty promises here. And honestly, this dual electric motor concept could just end up not materializing ever. Oh, and let's not forget, the company is trying to switch the GTR over to electric motors too. Where does that fit into these plans? These are all questions that remain unanswered. Though, at the same time, it is Nissan we're talking about here. They already know how to do electric cars. Plus, the concepts they've shown so far also look super promising. So, I guess all we can do is sit back and wait for the puzzle pieces to fall into place. And on that note, this was everything we know about the new Max Out EV concept from Nissan. See you in the next one. Electric cars can be also ready to ride you long distances and be huge vehicles. Let's see them at their full power. Top 10 Best Electric SUV Cars in 2022 Number 10. Toyota BZ4X This is the first Toyota electric car released to be sold worldwide. Its appearance is quite characteristic. A metal edge joins its two headlights, and according to the manufacturers, this design was inspired by a hammerhead shark. The Toyota BZ4X is a two-row SUV with five seats, a spacious interior, and 20-inch tires. The 71 kilowatt hour battery pack is located in the center and provides a range of 280 miles. Plus, it can charge to 80% in just 30 minutes. It has two 80 kilowatt motors on each axle that provide